Hey guys, CD Stealth here, and in my last video, what we did is we set up the spine rig to influence the spine curve, which will then, in fact, influence the high res bones to make it uh, easier for the animator so we have less controls to work with, and it would still create a fluid effect. Now, what we're going to do is I want to drop our attention away from the spine just a second because we really need to work on um, our hips here because we need these to be able to sway. So, what we're going to do is uh, I've noticed a small error in which I made, which is highly common in technical direction. It's really hard not to get to, to get everything right. So um, I noticed that when I click on my hip, you see this little arrow here? It looks like a bone, does it not? Well, uh, what this actually is, this isn't a bone. This is a, a parenting thing, which basically tells me that this bone is currently being parented to whatever is over here in this direction. In this case, it's actually my spot high res bones. So if I select this and then I select my joint here, you can see that my high res actually starts up here and this is starting, um, it has like this fake bone. Now, when this happened, what exactly did I do that would cause this to be apparent? Now, let me just show you this and you might kind of understand it a little better. I'm just going to unparent my high res bone by clicking shift P. Now, now you'll notice that that bone's gone. And when I click on the root, there's no little bone thing there. And when I click on the high res, it starts here. So, what does that mean? Well, that means my joints are actually disconnected. Now, when my joints are disconnected, and that means I'm not getting the full influence of what's taking place. So, um, unfortunately, and I really hate it, but I do it all the time, this spine is useless to me now because since this is not in the exact same position as my lower root, <clears throat> impossible for me to get the correct deformations the way I want them to. So what does that mean? Well, I select my spine rig, my spine curve, and my high res bones, and I delete them because I can't, there's no way I can salvage that. So I'm going to quickly create my new spine curve, but I'm going to do something just a tad bit different, and I'm only recording all of this so that you guys can actually see the process that you have to go through many many times as a TD and you need to be aware of certain things I mean sometimes I forget stuff and this was just one of those times that I just I must have forgot to click twice yes click twice so like when I, I have my joint tool and I'm about to create my spine rig for the very first time I'm going to hold down the V key and select my lower root notice that there's no joint created yet it's not in my outliner. I'm still going to hold down the V key and click the same thing again. There it is. That's what I meant by clicking twice. Because what I probably did is when I came over here and I clicked this, I probably held down the V, clicked once, and then clicked here, which would have started my spine here. So now that all of that is done, I'm just going to briefly just kind of throw in my spine again just so I can get on with the next portion and I mean sometimes this is this is some just some of the problems that I've I've always run into sometimes you'll forget a local rotation axis it's completely common to to just do this uh, high res fine Alright, so uh, I recreated my spine, and this time you'll notice that the little arrow thing is still there, but it's in the same spot, and that's exactly what we want. So, um, you know, I'm just going to keep recording. Uh, it's just going to be me creating my spine again because I'm dumb and I forgot. So, if you want to follow along, you can. If not, you know, still keep talking and stuff. But, um,. Just kind of my bad. Oops. All right. 
right, so grab that. And Maya crashed. Awesome. So I will see you <laughs> in the next video after I fix this problem.